I'm Rich Lund. I've got my supplies ready. Today is July 28th. Let's go on an egg hunt. I'm currently at 33 Monarchs this summer, many of which, many of whom, many are trucking through their caterpillar stage of life. So I've got some mouths to feed. Having recently relocated, I've already secured like two good spots where there's plenty of milkweed leaves for the numbers that I've taken in. So I'm not worried about that. But I thought, hey, let's do something different today. Let's go after some doomed milkweed. What is doomed milkweed? Well, for starters, it's just a term I've made up. Googling that isn't going to really get you any answers. I would define doomed milkweed as any milkweed plant, stalk, shoot that you have good reason to believe or even knowledge of it soon being removed, mowed down, or weeded. It's not just any of that random milkweed that's out there, but it's random milkweed that's growing in a place where we're pretty sure it's going to be treated like a weed. So if we find some doomed milkweed out there, well those leaves are a great option for home caterpillars that you're rearing because those leaves are otherwise going to wind up in some refuse bag or chopped up, useful to no one. And when it comes to any eggs or caterpillars that we find along the way, well certainly if the milkweed is doomed, those monarchs are facing the same fate. It'd be even fair to say that such a monarch would have a survival expectancy of 0%. And so taking in such monarchs in these cases is a no-brainer to me. So with all that in mind, it seemed like a great day to go explore a little bit more of Metro Detroit, see if we can find some doomed milkweed to use as a food source, and along the way, go on an egg hunt, see what's out there. Let's go. Now you take a look here, we're at like the M1 racetrack nearby in Pontiac, and uh, this is nice and well manicured, plenty of mulch set up here. Maybe hasn't been weeded in a while, but also we've got some milkweed going right here. And I know that uh, there's going to be some events going on here in the next coming weeks. So likely this will be eventually weeded down. Now certainly this isn't like some new shoot sprouting up from the ground. This one's old enough to be producing flowers. But these stalks are likely to be removed once we get close to event time for the M1 racetrack. So yes, doomed. Let's check and see what kind of eggs we got. Or caterpillars. No eggs, but that means also plenty of leaves for my caterpillars at home to be feasting upon. Nummy nums. Ah, fresh milky greens. How about these little guys here? Nope. No eggs. Coming up with plenty of food though. What say you? Ooh, ooh. Hey, hey, hey. We got an egg right there. It looks like a hatched egg next to a new egg. But I don't see any evidence of caterpillars. So I don't know where the hatched little guy went, but here's an egg. Grabbing that for sure. No longer are you doomed. So here we are at a parking lot of a fast food restaurant and we have some perfect examples of some doomed milkweed here. Who's to say how it got here? Was there some milkweed already growing here when they decided to redo this patch with the mulch? I'm not sure, but the point is the root system's definitely still here and these shoots are coming up. All of this is likely doomed. So here's some nice fresh shoots and uh, as you can see this is a well-maintained area as well these are likely to be pulled out. Here would be a perfect example of some doomed milkweed. And certainly a major focus of uh, the Raising Monarch series is the idea that we want to plant milkweed, we want to restore their habitat. But here would be one case where, uh, because this is doomed, uh, I've got no problem removing the entire plant. Just pulling up at the chute, comes up pretty easily, and now I've got all of these leaves here that I can use for food. Um, let's check the rest of these plants though, see what we can find. And there are some arguments out there that it's young shoots like this, where the milkweed is nice and fresh, doesn't have pests or predators on it yet, that monarch butterfly females tend to lay their eggs on these shoots. And while I don't have necessarily strict data to support that, um, years of, of looking over the plants, I do tend to find more eggs on these small, fresh shoots. All right, look what we got here. There's a little guy right there, and uh, he's got a he's got a friend right there too, likely siblings. 
Let's carefully remove this one as well. Wow. Comes right up. Now, I don't know if you've stumbled across this in your internet travels and perusals of comment sections, but there are some who do very much support the monarch butterflies by uh, planting milkweed, raising pollinator gardens, and yet they do have a criticism for those who rear monarchs, those who take in eggs or caterpillars. They would instead like to say, hey, let's have hands off, let nature run its course, survival of the fittest. Now, I do want to say, I understand that opinion, and I do very much respect it. Furthermore, people who are of that opinion are still helping out the monarchs. Thank you for planting the milkweed. And come on, hey, I'm a science teacher. Survival of the fittest, you know I'm down with that. I'm a bit of a Lex Talionis guy myself. But I would have to ask the question, what about these two guys? Where does survival of the fittest factor into this parking lot? Obviously, from these caterpillars, hey, they've been doing pretty good on their own already. Why not just let them be? But should these two caterpillars just remain here and potentially get weeded and thrown out with the trash? In other words, should these two caterpillars really receive a death penalty because their mom didn't have the right random genes to let her know which milkweeds humans are going to mow down and pull out? I would say that there's nothing wrong with their genes. Um, they're not going to not survive because of any genetic reason. It's because they're in a parking lot. So maybe it's not that there's anything really wrong with their genes, but there's something perhaps wrong with parking lots being all over the place that is their territory. And hey, the skateboarder in me loves parking lots, so you have a little peek into that internal conflict I deal with. All right, cool find. Let's check some more spots. This is a parking garage. These are found all over Metro Detroit and plenty of other cities too. And uh, yeah, here's some doomed milkweed. In an area where it's likely to be weeded anytime soon. Let's check them out. See some fresh chew marks. What about here? Oh, 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 oh. Little tiny cat right there. Cha ching. Let's just grab this whole stalk, in fact. There we go. Oh, not one, but two caterpillars. Well, that's encouraging. What else we got? Ha ha ha. We have an egg. Right there. Not enough milkweed here to support even one caterpillar. Getting you to some better spots. And how about this guy? What you got waiting for us? Well, pretty good find here, actually. You got an egg right there. And we got an egg right over there. Cool. Cool. All right, I'm kind of baking out here. Um, baking in the sun, and a storm is coming. So let's head home, see what we got. Back at home base. Let's check out the hall. We got four stunning eggs right there. Along with what also appears to be two first instar monarch caterpillars. And then also two fourth instar caterpillars. Okay. Fourth instar, getting to notice that from having the tentacles be twice the length from the base of the tentacle to the tip of the head cap. Well, all right. I think that was a pretty successful egg slash caterpillar hunt, as it turned out to be a 50-50, four eggs, four caterpillars. And we were also able to take in some doomed milkweed that otherwise was going to become refuse and now is going to be some, some food for my cats that I'm rearing here at home. Do people don't buy now that like when I'm saying cats, I'm, I'm saying caterpillars. You guys get that, right? Thanks for coming along with me, and thank you as always for your continued efforts for the monarchs. Next time you're in need of leaves and you know of some doomed milkweed, eh, maybe you think they're first. I'm Rich Lund, just a guy trying to help out some butterflies, and I'll see you next time.